All right, here we go, here we go. I got two words for you today, two words. Here they are, press on, press on. I'm gonna ask you a question today. Have you ever been the underdog? Have you ever, whether you're playing on Friday night or Tuesday night, going up against your rival, have you ever been the one that everyone said was sure to lose? I mean, the, you, have you ever been the one where people look, they look at the stats, they look at the past history of the rivalry, they look at what's happened this season, they look at the weather, and you know when the weather is above a certain temperature, uh, our team has a 37.3% chance of not performing at their highest, and all of this data and nonsense, and they look at all of that and they make a prediction about the future, and they predict that you will lose. Have you ever been in that spot? As I know what it's like to be the underdog. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't really mind being the underdog. You know, I don't really care when people call me an underdog because I don't really care what people call me. They call me an underdog, they call me whatever they want because I don't care because predicting and calling and writing stories, that's their business. Predicting the future based on what has been or what used to be, that's their job. I have no use for what used to be. I used to have a full head of hair, run a 4-7, but I don't anymore. I'm bald and I'm slow. And so to try to make decisions today based on what used to be, doesn't get me anywhere. It doesn't do me any good. So I don't care what you say about me based on what used to be. It's not my business. My business is what I choose to do today. You see, my business is when I face difficulty, when I'm getting punched in the face, when, when I am facing a challenge that is beyond what I've accomplished before, what my business is, what I care about is making the choice to press on in the face of difficulty. To make the choice to say, I've never done something this difficult before, so I'm gonna choose to learn more. I I've, never had to, I've never had to pass a test this difficult, so I'm gonna choose to study more. I'm gonna choose to rearrange my schedule. I'm gonna choose to do something different today, so I change my tomorrow. I'm not gonna focus on what used to be. I'm gonna focus on what I choose to do right here, right now. That You see, my business is when I face opposition. I'm not gonna sit and worry about what they've done to past opponents and think because they've done it to them, they're gonna do it to me. I'm gonna to choose today to learn from what they've done so that it influences what I do today, so that I can exploit, so that I can overcome and become better through opposition instead of cowering down to it, that I'm gonna make the choice to press on in the midst of failure, that I'm not gonna let my past failure keep disqualify me from future success. Instead, I'm gonna press on. I'm gonna make the choice to learn from failure so that I can be successful moving forward. There's no shame in making the mistake once. That's no problem. The problem comes when you make the mistake twice or three times or four because you fail to learn from the failure. You see, I want to challenge you today. Whether you're in the situation where somebody's calling you an underdog, or you're in a situation where you've just exhausted the best of you and you want to throw in the towel and quit because you have no hope for tomorrow because of the failures of yesterday. Friends, I want to challenge you. Press on. One of the most powerful and important choices you can make is to press on. Edison said this, the surest way to be successful to try just one more time, to press on. You know, Edison's not the only one that understands the power of perseverance. In fact, Ray Kroc, he was the founder of McDonald's. He has an incredible teaching on the importance of perseverance. In fact, he called it one of the very foundational lessons of his life. He said this, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. 
Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are all powerful. Listen, here's why the choice to press on is so important. It's why persistence and determination are all powerful. Because when you fail to make that choice, you fail to apply your talent, your genius, your education, your ability. When you don't press on, when you get focused on what has been and what used to be, you aren't applying what you have now, you are focused on and you are trying to appropriate what was instead of apply what is. You see, when you make the choice to press on, here's what happens. When you get faced with difficulty, rather than saying, I used to, I never have, I can't, you look and say, what do I have right now that will help me get what I need so that I can do what I've never done? When you make the choice to press on, when you face opposition, you don't look back and go, well, our school has never beat them before. For 12 years running, we've lost to this team. Instead, you look and say, I've never lost to this team. Instead, you look and say, I've, I haven't lost to them this year. I haven't played this game yet. And so I am going to let my opposition fuel my growth and my preparation and my focus so that I do now what has never been done instead of letting what has never been done tell me what I can't do now. When I make the choice to press on, when I face failure, I don't let it press me down and hold me down. When I face failure, I don't look and go, oh my goodness, I, I'm not good enough. I am a failure because I've always been a failure. I always mess up here. Instead, I look and say, what is the lesson to be learned? How do, I, how do I get better because of this? I ask why until I know why. I let my failure become a classroom instead of an anchor. I let my failure catapult me instead of crush me because I make the choice to press on and learn from my failure. When we choose to press on, we allow our talent, our genius, our education, our abilities in the moment move us forward instead of letting what we've never had or never done anchor us down. Are you with me? The challenge to press on is the challenge to choose to build a new future instead of camping out in the past. And friends, I know that that choice, that challenge is hard to accept sometimes because I know what it's like to be at a place in life where mentally or emotionally, where relationally, you're just absolutely spent. Where you're in the part of the season where nothing has gone right. My senior year of high school, we had the biggest hopes, the biggest dreams. We did the right work. And then 0-1, 0-2, 0-3, 0-4, 0-5, 0-6, 0-7, 0-8, 0-9, 0-10, 0-11, 0-12, 0-13, 0-14, 0-15, 0-16, 0-17, 0-18, 0-19, 0-20